black man I thought was a perfect play uh, to do. It is timely for what's happening in the country and the discussions that we're having in the country right now. And at the same time, it would be uh, exemplary for a case study, a public health case study of how to do it within the pandemic, stay safe, and at the same time, have a presentation for your audience that is isolated away from the theater while the theater is shut down. The play started its life in 2010 when I was in graduate school at NYU. In 2015, it had a development opportunity with Berkshire Playwrights Lab, which turned into a production. And then in 2018, at 5090's 59th, with Wendell Pierce on board and Joe Kakachi directing. I love the play. So when Wendell called and said there was this opportunity, I was on board immediately, and then uh, as he explained further, the idea that we were going to shoot it, and make it feel like a play even though it wasn't going to be in a theater, we weren't going to have an audience, um, I thought, well, yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. It's still meant to feel like a play, you know, we're not shooting a TV show, we're not shooting a sitcom, we're not shooting, uh, it's not a film, it's very much a play that we are putting on film. What I really want to take full advantage of is Wendell Pierce and Charlie Robinson and the electricity that they have together. And I want to capture that together as much as I can, but still make sure that the audience is really seeing the play and that everything isn't back here. When I started this project, I was handed a blueprint of what the building looked like and a 360 degree photo. All of the rules that you normally get to just follow when you're in a theater were not there. Never did we have to worry about where are people going to look. We, we have the control of what you're going to see, what you're going to get into the camera. We get to choose that now. And so that really let me make it just be a self-standing sculpture. It's hysterically funny when it's supposed to be, and I think it's incredibly poignant and even tragic when it's supposed to be. And the fact that that all happens in 90 minutes of real time has always been something that's um, sort of blown me away. The humanity of the play transcended the, the technical challenges that we had, um, where we were all isolated at different points and we were rehearsing the play, you know, over Zoom, over video conference. The connectivity between us as actors was still there. So we're just happy to be able to do this with UMS, that UMS was willing to take a jump and take a risk on and do this play with us. Find a way to do your work in spite of the pandemic. Art plays a vital role, a vital role in society. What thoughts are to the individual, where you lie awake at night and think about who you are, who you hope to be, your faults, your strengths. That's what the forum of art is with the community as a whole. It's the place where we collectively come together. And so I say, just because we're in a pandemic, we should not give up that pursuit.